it's July 31st, 2018, and I just wanted to show you the progress that this Monstera has made over the past few months. This, I did mention briefly in an earlier video, is a series of cuttings that I took from my original Monstera plant that had been infested with thrips. And no matter what I did, I couldn't seem to get the infestation under control. So as a last resort last year, I took cuttings as much as I could from the original plant and then I just composted the original the plant what was left of it and the the pot of soil so these cuttings I took and rooted them over the winter and they were extremely slow to do basically anything over the winter not surprisingly and there's my trusty friend Larry behind me he's gonna he's gonna provide the backdrop um, so basically they didn't do much over the winter but as soon as spring arrived, I could tell that they were putting out roots. I had put them in soil, so I kind of couldn't see what they were doing, but I knew that they were starting to grow because there was new top growth. And so once they got established enough with roots, I put them all in this pot. So there's three cuttings in here. And the leaves that are actually, that actually have the, the slits in them and the holes, those are the older original leaves taken from the cuttings and that's why you see the brown tips here because for a period of several months they weren't doing anything and so there were no roots to draw up water and keep the leaves hydrated so unfortunately there was some um, leaf dieback or burn on the leaves but that's okay because the new leaves are nice and healthy Unfortunately, they don't have any cuts in them yet, but that's okay. They're doing well. Sorry for, I'm just going to shade this out for a second here, but I'll go over here. Um, the one issue that I did have uh, last week, which almost made me keel over because I thought, oh no, not again, was that I did notice, I think it was on this leaf here. You can see how it's kind of a little bit wrinkly towards the bottom edge of the leaf. And I thought, that doesn't look the same as the other leaves. It looks a little bit suspicious. So of course I turned it over and on the back side of the leaf were a group of thrips that were just starting to get, you know, going on this plant and on this leaf in particular. I think they found it was very tasty. So I just took some dish soap with a sponge and just sort of wiped it down and removed what I could see of them. Now I know thrips do sometimes multiply in the soil and spend part of their life cycle in the soil, but I'm hoping they didn't get there yet. Um, I do have a lot of plants, so hopefully this little group that I found on here was just, you know, had traveled from another plant perhaps and was just getting going on this plant. So hopefully I've caught it in time, but what I'm doing now, because it is summer and I do find that some of my other plants do get thrips as well. I seem to have it in my house now and I have to accept the fact that they're always going to be here. I just have to monitor for them and catch them early. What, so what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I am checking all of my plants in the whole house on a weekly basis. Just checking for patches uh, on the leaves that might not look quite right, that might look like it's either yellowing or browning. Um, I will try and find another leaf on another plant to show you what the damage looks like, but basically I have already noticed them as, on the calatheas as well and the peperomias. The peperomias don't show the same signs because their leaves are extremely thick and succulent, but anything that has a leaf that's sort of the same thickness as these um, monstera leaves, they kind of show similar patterns. So here's the monstera and I will find another leaf on a different plant to show you what the damage looks more looks like more definitively. Okay, so here is the Calathea lancifolia and this one, as Larry will demonstrate, he's my lovely assistant. Sorry for the shadows. Um, let's try and get this close up here. So here, if you can see it, right, right there, there's this patch of leaf that is brown and dehydrated. Now, if you assume that you know most of those, just the the leaf burns or the the tips that get burnt because of either you know inconsistent watering or lack of humidity or something in the um, 
the water, the, the high mineral content of the water that you're using to water your plants, you would normally see those obviously on the tips and you don't in this case. You see them in odd places. So that's one little patch of brown here. And then on the same leaf, you can kind of see um, a little bit of browning that's right there. And so that just kind of tipped me off. And of course, sure enough, when I checked the back side of this leaf, it's not there anymore, but um, thankfully not there anymore. But basically, um, I found thrips on here as well. So these also got a soapy water treatment. I actually hosed this whole thing down outside. Um, but the thing is, I know that these guys are in the house now, especially, you know, with so many plants and with my friend Larry here moving around. I mean, the thing is, I probably brought them in from the garden in the first place, just, you know, not knowing, probably brought them in on my clothing or something. And they found nice, healthy homes here to keep them going. And then obviously Larry, who's at floor level, I'm sure with his nice thick fur, he's probably also <laughs> helped to transport some of these insects around the house. So again, it's just a matter of really being vigilant. Now I'm gonna have to just maintain a, a program of checking all of my plants on a regular basis. Um, I do have a, an expensive plant coming in today that I ordered online. And so I really wanna make sure that um, that I keep it healthy and that if there are any insects that I have now that are sort of endemic to my home, that I, I keep them at bay and that I don't get let them get to the point where they might actually do so much damage that they kill a plant. So anyway, so that's it. Here's the Calathea and just go back over to the Monstera. And there we go, and that's from the floor. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please get a, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel. It's a tiny channel right now, but I do appreciate everybody who subscribes and who likes the videos and comments on them. And if you have questions, please put them in the comments box below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great morning.